Hey people, d here, and today I am reviewing The Owl House Season 2, Episode 1, and oh my goodness, it goes off to a good start. Although, with some kind of stupid areas here and there, sorry about that dog barking, but, you know, animals do what they do. I don't know whose dog that is, but anyways... Um, there will be spoilers, by the way. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Go watch it. It was very good. So, let's talk about the good and the bad. So, first off, um, there, the animation, really good, actually. Uh, just as good as last season, if not slightly better. Um, so yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, anyways... <laughs> The characters, they're the same, except they're a little bit more depressed. Uh, they're looking for odd jobs to get money, since Ida has no way to get back to Earth to sell earthly goods. Uh, so they're hunting monsters and doing other such things. Um, at the end of this episode, though, they did get a lot of like this creamy stuff that supposedly sells for a lot of money, so... Uh, maybe that will tide them over for a few episodes, if not the whole season. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Um, <laughs> just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. Ida's sister is living with them. Lilith is living with them. Uh, kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of like the family member you let stay on your couch when they have nowhere else to go. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. So they're talking, and it's pretty interesting. Uh, and she's actually getting a friendship with Hootie. And I I think there was an episode where Hootie is supposed to go on a journey. And I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be with uh, Lilith because it seems like Hootie and Lilith are getting to be friends. <laughs> which is going to be interesting. Um, anyways. So, so yeah, that that's all happening right now. And it's pretty cool. And uh, Ida's trying to, uh, protect, uh, protect Luce, uh, from dying because she can't eat much from the Boiling Isles. We learn a little bit more about Emperor, Emperor Bellows's uh, new person he sent to look after Edith and them. Uh, he's basically, like, a teenage boy genius, which brings up some, some questions. Like, it brings up some thoughts in my, in my head. Uh, here's, like, a few, th like, here's, like, a theory or two I, I thought about. Uh, when I heard that. So the first one. Is that this is going to bring up. Some kind of love triangle. Like 100% love triangle. Between of course. Our girl Luce. Uh, this new character. And Am Anony. Amony. Anony. <laughs> An Amony. Amony. <laughs> I can't really say her name. Ever. <laughs> Um, so that's that's the first thing I was thinking about. Like, there's gonna be like a love triangle between them because maybe Luce somehow endears this guy to the point where he falls in love with her, or maybe she falls in love with him because I don't know she finds him very attractive. But at this point, she really hates this guy. But there could be a point where she might find him uh, attractive because who knows? But I think there might be a love triangle. Um. The second one would be that there is a, lo a, a loving, a lover relationship between Luce, uh, between this guy and one of Luce's other friends, like Willow or Gus, uh, where this guy either tries to trick them into loving him or they just kind of like him because, I don't know, he's handsome, I guess. <laughs> uh, so that could happen as well. Uh, I guess that could even happen to An Anony, Anony, Anony. And I can't say her name properly. <laughs> uh, I guess that could even happen to her too, so that might be a thing. Uh, but he might, he might, he might be like a thorn in the side. He might turn out to be a good guy. Um, who knows at this point? It's just very interesting to think about it. Uh, but yeah, so that's a thing. Um, of course, there's a whole like they can't use magic right now. Um, but I will say there was a little bit of a stupid part there because they're kind of like trying to use magic as they used to, but they know they can't do that. But in the season finale of season one, uh, they did discover that they could use runes, but they still aren't learning about runes from loose because I guess 
plot, I guess. Like just like some stupidity, I guess. I don't know. That's just kind of weird. That's just kind of dumb that they weren't learning about it. And not to mention, they don't use their staffs. Now, I'm thinking about this, and isn't it <laughs> loose when she used Ida's staff? She turned into a really, uh, like just she turned into like a boss pretty much when she was fighting Emperor Bellus and stuff like that, right? So the staff gave her power. Um, so wouldn't that wouldn't that make uh wouldn't it make sense that if Ida and Lilith used their staffs, uh, which I guess Luce used, Luce used Ida's staff, wouldn't that make them just as powerful or semi-close to as powerful as they used to be because the staffs have power? Because when Luce used it, it had power. Or, I don't know, maybe I was wrong because I'm pretty sure in the final few episodes, like the final episode or so, um, she used the staff and the staff gave her power somehow. At least that's what it looked like to me, but maybe she was just using a bunch of runes. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it seems like the staff might give them power, but who knows, I guess. And I don't know why they haven't been uh, going after <laughs> runes at this point, because they don't know real magic anymore. So they have to use runes. Uh, so yeah, that's that's something else as well. So yeah, all in all, this episode, really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's a good comeback. There was some dumb parts. There was only like two dumb parts there. Like, why aren't they using runes? And plus, didn't the staff help help uh, loose out? So wouldn't it help them out? I don't know. That's that's a question that I guess someone will answer sometime. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Um, and then there's this new evil character, uh, and he's there. <laughs> Uh, who knows what he's capable of and what he's going to do. If he's going to turn turncoat or is he going to stay evil? Is he going to be good? Is there going to be some kind of love triangle or love situation uh, with Luce's friends? Um, and also, we saw Emperor Bellos uh, at the end of this episode where he seems like he's either completed or very close to completing the door back to Earth, which probably means... He's going to be looking for that key, because I don't know if he can open it without the key, but he's probably going to be looking for that key that Luz has. Um, and I assume when we realize the door is fixed is when Luz's cell phone starts sending the text instead of saying, let's like, not send sort of thing, uh, which we did see at the beginning of this episode. So I'm thinking that's foreshadowing that when we see those like text send, that means it's finished. <laughs> Uh, but he probably needs the key, so uh, he might have more trouble for loose up ahead. But yeah, really good first episode. Can't wait to see the rest. Anyways, I hope you liked this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification. That's the best way to keep my channel. Link down below to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And as always, our friends, stay sane. Peace. Just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, and share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. My baby, I love you so much. You're my baby. And you love to sleep in the bathtub. Because <laughs> you're a weirdo. Shadow, look. Look at your buddy. Look over here.